Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mel, this is Melis Makes, and today we have day 14 of Craftover 2020. So as always, let's get into the video. So today guys, we have the interactive prompt. Now I've put two prompts there, this is movement and texture. If your craft goes beyond those two prompts, then totally go with it. I think it'd be interesting to see some of the makes today, especially with different materials, different textures, for example, and also with movement, interaction with the card, for example. So today I have two cards that I've made that are interactive with movement. So I hope you guys enjoy the video today. If you guys would like to join in with Craftober, you're more than welcome to the prompts are in the box below the relevant hashtag is craftover2020 and please tag me at your makes as well i am menace makes on both youtube and on instagram hope you guys enjoy today's makes so these are the two cards that i've made so we've got this these cats on top of this llama here which i think is really cool and i've got this one with a hedgehog with the bird carrying the balloon sitting on some presents now I've used the Hay Cupcake Collection by Doodlebug, which I'm just going to show you now. And it's this one here. So as you can tell, this is the Chit Chat, which has all the sentiments on it. So I'm just going to turn this around. So this has lots of really cool and vibrant colours in it. And it does go beyond the birthday. So you have ones that actually say like, hello friend and you're sweet and hip hip hooray, like a happy day. Let's have cake. Yay. Hello. So these go beyond the birthdays, but this is really cool for actually making birthday cards. It's got some really bright colours and some really cool sayings as well. It's just really, really fun. So that is the chit chat. Then I've got the odds and ends here. So these have lovely colours. It's got lots of cake, presents, flowers. Um, I love these like little characters, these animals as well with the, with the cats and the hedgehogs. And the birds, I think they're really, really awesome. And then this collection also has some acetate, uh, acetate pieces, which actually have like balloons and swirls and little confetti bits as well, which I think is awesome. So that is the um, odds and ends. And then we have the paper here as well. Again, in some really bright, vibrant colours. So you've got lots of pinks, got lots of rainbow colours, got blues, oranges, yellows. Um, some greens as well it's just a really vibrant it's a really vibrant set it's really really colorful as well and i really love some of the patterned papers in here so you've got like lots of this green lots of the yellows with the little um little llamas or the alpacas on them got some of these um birthday patterns for example got lots of pinks got cakes oh, it's a really lovely collection so you've got lots of these beautiful colors so yep, yeah, that is the collection. So these are the two cards that I have made. So let me take this collection away. And I'll show you the cards that I've made. So I've made this one here. So this has the llama or with the two with the two cats and it says hello friend. So this one opens out like this if I can just pull it. There we go. So I've just caught it probably on the sellotapes on the side. But this actually is a lot more smoother when it's stuck a lot more better. So that is what it looks like. There you go. So that is created with the Sunny Studios um, window sliding die. So I'll show you what that looks like. This is what this looks like. So you have to excuse the wash tape. But it's got um, lots of these tags, for example, lots of these... Um, tag toppers got the little tops for it as well and the whole actual window is just this here so what you need to do is just cut it around or you need to obviously leave a gap and then you would make it like that so you'd have the bottom bit that pulls you'd have one of these um there's like a rim on the other side of this which is here actually you put it at the top to make a panel and that will actually create your your motion slide so that's a really good die to have. Had it in my collection for a while actually. But I don't really like um spot on the channel very um very often. So that is the interactive card for that. And I do love the um little pull, so I just made these little circles with a circle punch from Hobbycraft. And that's that. So it's got lots of the pink and lots of the more vibrant colours with the balloons. I love these animals as well, they're really, really cute. 
So that's card number one. And card number two is this one. So this has from the same collection as well. So I've got the hedgehog, the bear with the balloon. It has all these like little confetti swirls as well on top of the presents. It's just a really, really cute card. And I've used some of the papers from the collection as well. And this one opens out like this. Now you can actually make this card. I've used it with a die from Lawn Form, only because it's just easier to cut out as I'd have to be sitting here measuring everything out. Um, but this can actually be um, handmade from scratch. So you can actually just um, do it like that. See so if I open it. Here it is closed. And then when you open it out, it displays the message. So I've just taken some of the elements from that collection. So I've got a party hat. That's these sweets, for example. And then this crown here, which I think is really, really cool. And I'll just put a happy birthday um, sentiment at the bottom. And it's just on this um, purple cardstock from... Um, Lidl so I thought I'd do that so basically with this one um, if it's if it's not really flat enough and it's not closing you just have to press a little bit harder so you have to fold it a little bit harder but yeah I really really like that card I'll just show you the die from Lawn Fawn which is this one here so it has the um, the little plates here that you put your design on in the middle you write any message that you want it's just two panels and what you need to do is you need to die cut this one panel into two and you join them in the middle a great thing i love about lawn fawn is that they always have like these additional um elements so you've got these like little hill shapes you've got like the little cloud but they can be cloud or the trees the tree leaves which i think is really really cool and i'll show you the mechanism as well because on the other side so that is the mechanism on the other side that creates the movement of the card. So you've got the, um, the crease lines here. So you just bend them in the right form. And you've just got like these little tick marks as well, which is where you'd put the middle of your message in the card. So it's a little bit more easier to line up. So that is the actual movement of it. And then when you have the card here, it just creates that card. So there you go, closed, and then that's open as well. So it's a really clever die. It's um, a really clever make. I really, really love all these kind of interactive dies. I've got a few interactive dies, especially from Lawn Fawn. I think Lawn Fawn have got that kick for interactive cards. Um, so they've got this one, for example, that I have here, which is the shutter one. So you can actually have like this, this is like a pull tab and you lay all these like little sausage shapes on top of this circle. And you basically sandwich the shutter on top of your card. And then when you pull the lever, it actually reveals the message and then closes up again, which I think is super, super clever. It's really cool. And again, it has like, this is the shutter cover. So if you wanted to put a design, like a big chunky design that actually covers the whole card, then you can do that and you just leave the hole in the middle for the message which I think is awesome as well. So that is also another interactive card. But yeah, I really like how these interactive cards have come out. Um, I love this one, and I also love the, the pull-out one as well. So yeah, I really, really love those makes today. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed them too. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to join in with Craftober, please do. It's not too late to do so. We're nearly halfway through the month, which is going really, really fast. So please do join if you are able to. Um, the prompts are in the box below. Please tag me at Melis Makes and please use the relevant hashtag, which is Craftober2020. Hope you guys can give this video a like, comment and even a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.